Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> Robin Cosmic here. Got a little cold, so just be careful, you know, out there. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a suggested video by Jonathan here. He asked how can I how I can add Iron Man flight animation on controlled flight, uh, and I had replied and told him I would do a video on it. So obviously, what you're going to need is your hero pack. Uh, I always recommend having the default Fisk Heroes uh, hero pack that can be found in Hero Pack Central in the link below. Um, and this is just Visual Code Studio. It's like what most people use to code their hero packs. Uh, as you can see here, I have uh, my Hal Yellow Jordan or Hal Jordan Yellow Lantern pulled up, and he has uh, controlled flight. Uh, you can't see it here, but you can in assets, data, powers, and if we go to yellow ring, <coughs> he has controlled flight in here somewhere. Um, let's see if we can find it here. There it is, controlled flight. Now you can add this, uh, this whole thing into your powers folder. You can adjust the speed, the boost speed, can boost, can roll, etc. Um, and you can find this in most flight characters now um, because I'm fairly sure almost every new flight character uses this controlled flight power now. Um, the mo main focus of this video today is going to be adding other animations to that flight. And the reason I have Yellow Lantern and Hal Jordan pulled up is because he has his own custom flight animation. Um, but what we're going to do real quick is just show you how to add, let's say, Iron Man's. Uh, so what we're going to do is you're going to go to your renders folder. Heroes, you're going to pick the character you want to do the custom flight on. Let's just pick Homelander for now because his render is not as complex as Yellow Lantern Hal Jordan and we're gonna as he asked apply um, Iron Man flight so you would go to the default Fisk Heroes pack assets Fisk Heroes renderers heroes look for the flying suit you want to use so we're gonna grab Iron Man Mark 85 and you look over here, and you're going to look for, where is it, this uh, initiate animations here. Now what you need is these two right here. This is your flight. Um, there's also other animations like the Iron Man landing and Iron Man roll. You can also apply these. You can throw them in there. But right now we're just going to focus on getting the animation, the flight animations. So you grab these, if you want to use Iron Man. We'll go to Homelander, and you would replace these here. Um, so you would replace the Utils Hover animation and the Utils Flight animation. Uh, now I'm not going to replace these because he actually has his own custom flight. But that is where you would put it. You would put it in Initiate Animations, Parent Initiate Animation, and then you would do the Utils Flight and Hover. So, now that you know how to add other characters' flight, I'm going to show you how you would go about adding your own custom flight animations, which is why we had Hallie Jordan pulled up. So, uh, if you followed the template, I'm pretty sure it already has all these folders. Um, if not, you're going to need to make them as you go. You're going to open model, you're going to, we're going to start from where it has our hero pack stuff. We're going to assets. Domain, Models, Animations, Flight, and then here's where we're going to start. So what I'm going to do is close out these. We don't need those. The first thing you're going to want to do is make these three folders, Boost, Hover, and Idle. I would go ahead and make those. Um, I don't think my Hal Jordan uses header. It does not. Okay. So you're going to want to make this next. You need a file that is your character's, like, just a name. So we have lantern underscore flight. I recommend doing, like, something to do with your character underscore flight. 
dot anim dot json. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that here. So we're gonna file um, and then new file. And you're gonna do name underscore flight anim dot json. And you can th that's just how you would do it. Um, I'm not gonna recreate one. Uh, but here you're going to want to do a squiggly quotes inputs colon bracket in parentheses uh, you would do for Hal Jordan he uses the default this Kiro's header now Bakugo here his fly anim uses this special header and I will show you what his looks like there um, oh, I don't know why I backed out of that. Fly. If we open up Bakugo's fly anim, he uses our domain flight header instead of this hero's flight header. And then here you have this MS Fist Pack flight hover in the name. So you would just follow this. So we go to flight. We're already in flight hover, and then you have your lantern corpse here for me. You can name it whatever. And you have that for the boost as well. Now, your idle, you still need an idle because your uh, animations, your render is going to directly call to this idle animation. So, what you really do need now is your animations themselves. Um, there is a tool on Visual Code that helps with FSK. You can download it as just a plugin. Um, I brute forced mine. Uh, all mine are brute forced, uh, which means I basically just edited this and tested it in game to see if it looked right. Uh, I'm sure there's way better ways to do it. Uh, there are some great people in here, Pack Central, that might be willing to uh, make you some animations. But you need your FSK files, so you need a boost one so this one is going to be when you're holding shift and you're boosting um i put up the wrong minecraft but i'm going to show you ignore my desktop i'm doing a lot of coding and stuff here lately all right we're going to go into my uh fists here and i'm going to show you what it looks like uh and which parts of it um are actually being used In the meantime, you are going to need an FSK file for boost, you're going to need an FSK file for hover, and you're going to need an FSK file for idle. If I'm not mistaken, I think my idle and my hover are the exact same. No, they're not. Okay. So, yeah, I brute force mine. You don't have to. I'm sure there's better ways. Um, but... I found it easier to just make my own and brute force it. Uh, if you need reference to the animations, I'm like, if you want it to kind of look like this, but you want to change a few things, always go to the normal Fisk's thing and look at their flight. You can um, look and see how it looks, you know? We're going to go into the single player world here. You guys are going to get some sneak peeks into the hero pack. All right, so we're gonna grab Hal Jordan Yellow Lantern here. All right, we have him on. What we need to do is put on the ring. Um, and then we're gonna start flying. So this is the idle and hover. Uh, you know, just sitting still. Now, whenever I press shift and, uh, so this is the hover. This is the idle. This is the hover. Now when I boost, he puts his hand out. Now, so this is your boost. This is That was your boost. This is your hover when you're just moving without boosting. And when you're just sitting still, this is your idle. Um, I wanted to show you guys the difference because uh, I feel like not a lot of people do. And, um, 
now that you have your custom uh, FSK files, you are going to want to apply them in your uh, render. So we're going to go to the render folders. How Jordan Yellow Lantern. And you're going to find your initiate animations. So right here. All right. So you have the utils add fly animation just the same, except um, you're going to want to do the MMCW dot flight. And then you're going to want to go call all the way to your flight anim dot Jason. So MS Fist Pack colon flight slash lantern underscore flight dot anim dot Jason or name underscore flight dot anim dot Jason. Same thing. You're going to want to do the same for the hover here. So utils add hover animation MCW hover MS Fist Pack flight idle lantern course. So this is how you would add your own custom thing. The hardest part is the FSK files or the animation files. Um, as I said, I personally couldn't give you any tips because I just edited the numbers manually until I got something that I liked. Uh, so all of these little arm rotation things and everything, I manually moved them. Until it was perfect. Um, you don't have to do that, obviously. Well, that's the the gist of adding your own custom flight animations. And I guess since I'm doing mainly flight in this video, I can show you how to add the superhero landing. Uh, instead of looking at one of mine, we're gonna actually just look at Iron Man. Um. Well, actually, we might also look at one of mine. I think. I think Superman has it online. So we're going to go to and just Superman. We're going to open up his data heroes folder. Um, I don't think we need his powers, but we're going to open it anyways. I'm basically going to open everything to do with Superman really quick. This is going to be kind of a longer video. Um, I hope you guys understand. Uh, and then we need the renderer for Injustice Superman. Alright, so we're just going to fold this up here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your heroes folder. So you're going to go data heroes. You're going to look for your hero and at the very top above everything. You need to add this var landing equals implement parenthesis quotes. This is external superhero landing that needs to be at the very top. And then you can have all your other stuff here. Now I think I you also need this hero set tick handler. Yeah. So you need hero dot set tick handler parenthesis parenthesis nt comma manager parenthesis arrow. You know, you could just grab this. This is on Iron Man. And that needs to be inside of the function initiate hero. Um let's see what else. Let's keep on okay. Now, I don't think we need anything for the powers. If you want to know how to add sounds to your flight, go check out my uh, sound video, my sounds video. Um, and it'll tell you all about that. Now we're going to go to the renderer. Now, in the renderer, you're going to have to go to your initiate animations again. And you're going to do this. Add animation with data. And sees render comma quotes Iron Man dot land you're gonna do all this here um, I'm sure there is a way to change the uh, sound on it whenever you do the landing uh, I personally don't know how to do it I'm gonna ask around to do it on mine because the Iron Man dink just does not sound good on Injustice Superman but this is how you would add the land animation and what I'm going to do here is move this so it's going to go here instead yeah uh, but yeah this is how you add the superhero landing and you may not think it's working but it is just really hard to proc 
So let's grab Injustice Superman here. And it is just really hard to prop. So we're gonna fly up here. And we're gonna fly down. And you release W right before you hit the floor. And it'll land. Like I said, it's not the greatest to have to proc it. Like, it's hard to proc it, in my opinion. Um, I think the window needs to be bigger. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, and that's probably going to be all for this video. Uh, if you need help with anything else, check out the playlist. I'll link the playlist down below. It has all of the video tutorials that I've been making. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is not the only one I'm releasing today. I'll probably go through the comments again and pick out another video to do. And as always, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and if you could, uh, subscribe and leave a like. It keeps me able to do these. Um, it keeps my motivation going to make these tutorials for you guys on how to do this hero pack stuff. I look at the views and everything, and it just makes me even more motivated to put out videos for you guys. And I also love doing it. Um, if you have any questions for me or, uh, any ideas for videos you'd like to see made, you could put them in the comments or you could DM me on discord. Uh, my hero pack discord is going to be down below. And so is hero pack central. I'm in both of them. You can DM me, you can ping me in the discords. I probably will get back to you soon, depending on how busy my schedule is. Um, anyway, I love you all. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.